I, I want to see Harry. I, I, I want to figure out what's going on with him. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is going to send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May's stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. <sighs> Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. I'll talk to you later. All right, Harry. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this Place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. God damn, holy shit! Yes, Gene. I just checked in on Nanny. Nanny. Dad is not talking to you. Can I learn about it during the last milestone? Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Uh, what the cool. fuck? These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves, but not hurt them. Oh, nice! 
It looks like I'm hurting them. Okay. Yes. Yep. My God. Advanced technology. Oh yeah. To protect the bees, we had to make a, a drone that looks like a bee to take care of their, their, their enemies. Gotta protect the hive. Nice! So, so the enemies remember it was the bee that fucking killed them. <laughs> Coming for you, bee wolf. But the bee has a ball. <laughs> so, You're not gonna um, mess with my bees. Why are they all taking them on this gotcha. one? You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I knew you'd be good at this. I'm in beesness. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. What else? Oh. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. What the fuck? The hell is this? 3 3D printing? What are you what are you trying to print? Attention. <laughs> Harry, a moment if you please. Uh any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope, I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. I guess I'll look around. What's this? Whoa, whoa, what's this? Oh, shit! This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Motherfucker, they took. Are they trying to steal his work? God damn it! Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. That's precisely the issue. The accelerator is going to need a full recalibration. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Look like they're doing some kind of witchcraft here. What the fuck is this right here? It's like in the middle of here. It, it doesn't say what it is. So much to see here. Where do I even start? The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue.
Am I gonna go all over the place to figure out? Uh... Oh shit. I wanna know more of what's going on here. Imagine Even though I'm gonna work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. But what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Wanna feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! I do not know. I do not know what she said. Oh my god, or both of them. What's going on here? Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra efficient batteries charged by bicycles. These bikes, can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. What's going on? What's the upstairs? Like, I want to see. This is all plant. Like, what's what's the th second floor? Oh shit! You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I don't want to see the whole thing here. I want to see what you're researching. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, if you look at it that way. Got it. This way! <laughs> Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, I think you? Interesting. <laughs> you gotta match with that. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Oh, now you're ready fuck. to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. I think you in the middle. Yeah, when he was talking, I was, I was studying the Hugo here. And who else? You go here. And you go here. One step closer to feeding the world. God damn nice it! Nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. You want me to do your dirty work, you saw your bitch. Fuck. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay, uh... The plant... Well, maybe there. I don't know. I'm just putting it random. Let's see. Put you there. Let's see. Which one has... No, you're not gonna... Fuck. Fuck. Ah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find one that goes in the middle. Hmm. You go up here. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, fuck. This has to go. You here. And you here. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test, if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember. The things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope. False alarm. Right here. Where? Right here? Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If 
you join me? God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs>